The COVID-19 pandemic has devastated lives around the world, but among the many heartbreaking statistics, one figure sticks out for me. Across Europe, up to half the people who have died from coronavirus were residents of long-term care facilities, despite being a tiny fraction of the total population. The tragedies happening in some nursing homes right now point to the broader ways in which we are failing the older members of our societies. In addition to being at increased risk of severe illness or death from COVID-19, older people are also deeply affected by measures to combat the pandemic, which often cut them off from the services, support, and caregivers they rely on. Even before COVID-19, many older people in Europe were experiencing neglect, poverty, social exclusion and isolation, rather than full integration in their communities. As we work to support older people during the pandemic, UNFPA is urging governments to listen to older people, prioritize their needs, counter ageism and revisit laws and policies to ensure that older people's health, rights and choices are protected. In an aging Europe, we cannot afford to exclude a quarter of the population and all the skills, talents, and contributions they make to their families and communities. On today's World Elder Abuse Awareness Day, my message is the death of so many older people during this crisis was not inevitable. Now is the time to learn from past mistakes. Now is the time to get serious about creating a society for all ages. Let us work together so that this crisis and the tragic effects it has had on so many older people will be a turning point for the way we see, treat, and respond to older people in society.